Hey guys, Holly Roth here from Teaching with Heart. On this channel you'll find helpful and time-saving resources as well as a variety of children's read aloud series for kindergarten through second grade. This is lesson six in the astronomy series and it is titled History of Space Exploration and Astronauts. This read aloud will answer the questions of who is an astronaut? and how and when space travel might have begun, and what it was like for the first astronauts. All right, let's get started. Ever since they first gazed up at the stars, people have always wondered if it was possible and what it would be like to travel into outer space. For most of human history, the idea of traveling into space was considered to be impossible. Space, most people thought, was out of reach, and there was no way humans would ever be able to go there. Still, this did not keep people from using their imaginations and coming up with creative ideas for space travel. The Chinese invented the first rockets hundreds of years ago using gunpowder the same type of explosive used to fire guns and cannons. Lightning, excuse me, lighting the gunpowder would launch the rocket into the air. It was not until about 100 years ago that scientists started to make serious advances in rocket technology. By the 1950s, rocket technology had improved to the point that people began to think seriously about space travel and exploration. Back then, there was a nation called the Soviet Union, which no longer exists today, but which consisted of Russia and other countries near Russia. At the time, the United States was the only other nation in the world as large or as strong as the Soviet Union. The leaders of the Soviet Union and the United States each wanted to show the world that theirs was, was the more powerful country by being the first to launch a rocket into outer space. This photo shows scientists in the United States launching the first rocket from Cape Canaveral, Florida in 1950. This was just a test to see whether this type of rocket engine worked. This was the first of hundreds of rockets to be launched from Cape Canaveral. The Soviet Union succeeded in putting the first man-made object in orbit on October 4, 1957. By launching a satellite called Sputnik 1. A satellite is any object that moves in a constant orbit around another object in space. Sputnik 1 was carried into space aboard a rocket and then released. It orbited Earth for several months before re-entering the atmosphere and burning up. After the success of Sputnik 1, the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union, Union had begun. Each country wanted to prove that it had a better space program than the other country. For several years, the Soviet Union continued to lead in the space race. The leaders and people of each country took the space race very seriously. It was not a game, but a true matter of national pride. The United States developed a space program called the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA for short. The scientists at NASA hurried to try to catch up to the progress the Soviets had made. A few months after the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, NASA scientists in the United States launched a satellite of their own, Explorer 1. It's pictured here. The space race continued at a heated pace into 1961, when Soviet Yuri Gagarin became the first person to go into space and return safely. This picture of Gagarin was taken on the way to the launch pad for his prehistoric, not prehistoric, his historic journey. You can bet that he was feeling very nervous at that point. 
the Americans were close behind. A couple of months after Gagarin made his, fa his famous flight, a man named Alan Shepard became the first American to travel into space. This picture was taken shortly before Shepard boarded the Freedom 7 spacecraft. Notice that, like Gagarin, Shepard was wearing a helmet and a, sp a special suit. Space travelers need special gear like this in order to survive the extreme conditions of outer space, where there is no air and where the temperatures can be both incredibly hot and incredibly cold. Returning from outer space is just as dangerous as launching into outer space. This photo shows the Freedom 7, Alan Shepard's ship, after his flight. Shepard is inside that little capsule. When his flight was finished, the capsule re-entered the atmosphere and a parachute opened to lower it gently to Earth. Shepard landed in the ocean, as planned, and the capsule floated there until a helicopter came to recover him. Space travelers like Alan Shepard are called astronauts. The word astronaut comes from two Greek words, astro meaning star and not meaning sail. So an astronaut is a star sailor. Although being an astronaut can certainly be one of the most interesting jobs in the world, it is by no means an easy job. Astronauts spend years in training to prepare for journeys into outer space. Astronauts must be healthy and strong because space travel can be very difficult. Astronauts are stuffed into tiny spaces and launched into space in a rocket powered by thousands of gallons of powerful fuel. It is scary and it is uncomfortable, but astronauts put up with it. This picture shows astronauts undergoing training. These Apollo 17 astronauts are learning to use equipment for their mission. Early NASA astronauts also spent hours and hours running in place on treadmills, soaking their feet in ice water, and undergoing a number of other difficult, painful tests intended to make them tough. They had to be tough to be astronauts. That's the end of this read aloud. I hope you'll join us for the next one. See ya.